really good music in their, in their games, like uh, Pinball or whatever it was called. If you look, uh, look up uh, like Epic Games Pinball, um, they have a really good track. Just for the time, I mean, that this, I, we're talking about like 1998 or something, or I don't know when they made those games. It was probably earlier, earlier than that. But I'm just kind of wondering, what will people think like 20 years from now when, they're, when they look back at these games? You know, will it be kind of like how games were in the 90s. Even before that, when you think about, you know, even, like, during those pinball days. I just say the 90s because that was really, um, I don't think I was really playing games, like, computer games before then. I don't know. Well, I played uh, Pac-Man in the 80s. But I don't remember, remember those days anymore. Um, got a lot of stuff went on here. area. I think that's water over there. Yeah, it's water. into the lava or something, that would be, that'd be something. Because I'm pretty sure that lava, anything that touches it, is um, basically a, a void. Oh wow, there's water down there. Like, can you imagine that entire ocean being, um, thrown into the, uh, lava? I wonder what that would do, if the game would handle it, or... I'm pretty sure they got, they have some good, uh, techniques for stuff like that. How to handle stuff, like, they're probably all just, you know, I don't know. They'd probably just throw in an event that would cause it to, uh, stop.
either that or maybe... No, nah, I think there would be a lava down here. What's that? I don't think I want to dig in there. I don't like that uh, one little lake that I was digging through in one of the previous episodes and uh, oh, 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 uh, okay. Can I take you out? No. Let's go over here. Oh wow, you are you are long. <laughs> Let me just get rid of that. That thing is long. Oh, there's another one. Just avoid that stuff. I can reach all the way over here, too. Jeez. I'm going back. Okay. us. I don't think I can, uh... Let's do this, um... Alright, get it.
just get this over here. Okay. Oh, I bet that's the entrance to that one place I was looking at. Oh, I made it. Oh, is this more water? Oh, ocean on this side. Okay. Oh wow, that was, wow, that was crazy. Oh, Dungeon Guardian, oh, okay, cool. That was funny now. Let's go over there again. Actually, let me, uh... That dungeon guardian, that was something though. I wonder where it came from. Is there anything up here? No. I'm so anxious to get back there, see what's uh, what else is over there. So there's just a little hell area. So this is the dungeon area. I think that might be where it comes from. Right? Yeah, that's where it came from. Oh, let's see if I dig down, if I, uh, meet it again. Yeah, I can't go up there. Um, let's do this. So that dungeon is right next to uh, this area. Oh, has it? I can tell you this is a terrible area for it to uh, awake. I don't think I'm going to even try killing that thing right now. Just kind of interested in exploring those and seeing if I see anything interesting in here. But it doesn't look like there is. So. Uh, I guess I can put some light out. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything that, that interesting is in here. down. There we go. And then we can, uh,
Alright, let's see. Oh, we need to... There we go. That left some something to uh, grab onto, right? Not really. Let's do this. Definitely not going to make that one, that's for sure. So I think I'll uh, avoid going that way for a while. Until, uh... videos are 8 out of 23 uploaded. That's pretty good. One thing I'll say about uh, doing YouTube is um, I think of the whole process that's um, the most tedious is really um, uploading videos. It's just, uh, it does, it, it takes a long time to upload. And you know, no doubt these files are, they're uploading are upward to half a gigabyte so I basically I um, compress the uh, videos down um, I'm not really sure what compression I should be using exactly but um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys um, but basically it's just um, Nerf Star cool Finding all sorts of stars out here. Basically, I'm just using uh, one that looks like the uh, best, based on uh, some reviews that I was reading. It's the Xbox one on the uh, on uh, I don't forget what the program is called. I got somewhere around here. I like to keep inventory on here. That's for sure. So I would not be doing so hot if I were, if I kept losing my uh, inventory. I caught that. I definitely caught that feature, by the way. Not. All right, let's go down here. We'll try this area again. to uh, let the water go. I'd like to go down there. I think I've been all over the place this game.
that would be the uh, final heart piece. So, as you've probably figured out by now, um, I've been basically going, my goal, besides um, getting killed by uh, this piranha plant, those uh, little chomper things, has been to collect the uh, hearts. So, now that I have that. So I see, I understand now why um, you don't use the hearts, you just collect them. Because at this point, I believe this is the maximum amount of hearts that I can uh, use. Based on the guide I'm reading, so I am going to buy a guide again. Um, and I was also thinking about that whole cloud thing. I'm going to see if there's a way, if I can export them to like a plain text file or something. Just kind of wonder if that's possible. And then it will be allow me to uh, possibly even share this character once I'm done with it. Get to the extent where um, I'm pretty uh, satisfied with uh, with everything. So I think. Um, I think I'm going to call it an episode, so um, next time um, we will uh, aim to do a lot more. So stay tuned, hope you enjoyed. Um, also just one more thing I want to note is that I say this in my other videos but I'll say this here as well. Um, my computer's acting really slow. Oh, I lost it. Um, oh, stupid thing, I think deleted my videos. Yeah, oh well. Um, the videos are... Why don't I just open it here? Instead of opening a new browser. Well, here's the story. Um, first of all, um, with video, my videos, um, there's no guarantee that my videos will be here on this channel forever. Um, I can, you know, sometimes, you know, delete either the channel itself I might delete in the future or the videos I might delete in the future so if these are videos that you want to uh, share you're more than welcome to you can always mirror them and everything um, I'm not saying that I'll do that I'm just saying that you never know I mean In addition to that, um, remember you're you're always welcome to use my content under fair use. Anything I produce on this channel, I mean anything fair use, look it up uh, to see what fair use means. And it might be different, you know, country to country. I'm not sure. If, I don't think it's not like nation. It's not like a worldwide. Uh, law or anything. I think it's just strictly to anyone who uh, follows the same copyright principles. Um, but on top of that, my videos are also under the Creative Commons. So, hold on a sec. All my videos on this channel, including this one, 
are under Creative Commons. So this applies to this video, this video series, any video of the other series I've done. Um, remember that just because I say this for my videos doesn't mean that the games doesn't mean that I'm going to get an attorney and defend you if like uh, Squaresoft or something goes after you because um, I don't have that kind of a budget or anything. Because, um, you know, games do have copyright too, remember. So I have no idea what the uh, what the legal ease is on, uh, on all this. My guess, my presumption is that this is all followed, falling under fair use or there's just too many people doing this where it's almost impossible for them to impose restrictions so they're only going, going for the most offensive ones. But um, as far as what I've been doing, I've been sticking to the same type of, uh, of uh, work that other, you know, same, kind of following the same guidelines that I've seen other YouTubers use. So. Uh, hopefully that saves me. Um, but as far as my content, like my voice and everything, um, my uh, videos, photography, everything, I like on this channel because um, I can't speak to about a uh, you know like uh, my employment and stuff doesn't fall under that. But like that's you know. Never mind, forget that I said that. Um, but basically what I'm saying is um, CraveCommons.org backslash choose lets me choose how I like I prefer to share content under this license. Now, in addition to that, I could also license this video under different licenses. So if there's a different one that I'd prefer, then I'd have a dual license, not only Creative Commons it would be licensed under, under the rule set that Creative Commons holds, but it might be under another one. Um, like like GNU GPI, I, I'm a big a fan of that one because I just it seems like it's the most uh, has the most body of legal information stuff in there that uh, um, really attaches to itself, but it also allows for dual licensing as well. Um, so. I've selected allow adaptions to your work to be shared. Yes, as long as others share like. And basically what that does is it prevents somebody from hopefully taking the content and licensing, licensing it with something besides Creative Commons. Uh, allow commercial uses of your work, definitely. I see no problem with that. And... So this is a free culture license. Have a web page. So basically what it comes down to is this work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution share like 4.0 international license. It means if I click on the the text itself, it should tell me what it means. So I just did that. Uh, you are free to share, copy, and redistribute the material in this material, including like this video, in any medium or format. You're free to also adapt, remix, transform, and build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially. The licensor cannot revoke these freedoms as long as you follow the license terms. So that's really cool. It means that this is pretty much in stone right now. And this includes this video. Under the following terms, attributions, you must give appropriate credit, provide a link to the license, and include if changes were made. You may do so in any reasonable manner, but not in any way that suggests the licensor endorses you f for your use. Um, beyond that, I basically... Um, basically, um, it's just, um, you, when you attribute me, it's not just for recognition. It's so that 
if there's any problems in the future. Um, you know, somebody's saying that this guy is using this work and he's not giving the sources or he's not giving the materials that would allow somebody else to share or adapt it, remix it, transform it. Or, you know, somebody's going to sue me and it was your work, it was Jeremiah's work originally. Then that just means that they know who to go to and to talk to. So they can talk to me and then I'll probably go to Creative Commons and show, show them that this is my original work and then um, if a court's you could present that information to the court and help your case or something. Um, that's what I really am aiming for when I say look at something. That's basically why I'd want you to just give appropriate credit so that you can do that for, for legal for your legal defense if you ever needed it. Because um, otherwise, you know, somebody, you could be, you know, adapting it, adapting it, somebody's adapting it, and they don't know who the original uh, person who created it is. Um, so it just helps in that. Uh, share like. If you remix, transform, or build upon the material, you must distribute your contributions under the same license as original. So that's very important. That basically, uh, I think if it doesn't say that, it would pretty much be a uh, um, public domain at that point. So that prevents this, this content from going to the public domain. Now, why am I not a fan of public domain as much as I'm a fan of Creative Commons? Uh, because things that go into public domain can be sifted out and then at least it's the feeling that I get with public domain, is it can get sifted out. Unless it's something really simple, it can get sifted out, put back commercially, and then locked into copyright again. Uh, you do not have to comply with the license for elements of the material in the public domain or where you use your use is permitted by an applicable exception or limitation. So, by fair use, that's what I was talking about. No warranties are given. Uh, the license may not give you all of the permissions necessary for your intended use. For example, other rights such as uh, publicity, privacy, or more rights may limit you to the use of mater material. Um, I think the main thing is just don't sue me. If you, if you use it, you get in trouble. Uh, I didn't warrant the work. Um, because I might take it down, but I'm not going to, if, you know, if I get a copyright violation or something, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to take it down for me, but, um, the last thing I'm going to do is try to attempt to contact everyone who's remixing this stuff and tell them that you better do that, do the same. But I don't think that'll be ever the case. At least not the way I've been using that, doing that. Um, so... Would that, that hand be responsible? Um, so yeah, just feel free to use it. Use the content if you like. You can use it. You can um, use it to demonstrate uh, somebody who's new to YouTube. I don't know. You can do, do anything. But I hope you enjoyed. Come back for a lot more. All right? Okay.